This promises to be, folks, with continued participation of teen race superstar, Liam! With his wry British wit, dashing good looks, and a string of nail-biting victories, Liam is the first race car driver to become a certified teen heartthrob! Well, what do you think? My next interview, Liam! I know he's a race car driver, but he's hip, he's happening, and everybody is crazy about him! Especially you. My interest is purely professional. Of course it is. You are the fashion editor after all. And boy, does he look sweet in that jumpsuit. Okay, okay, you're right, Jade. He'd be a great interview. If you could score it. But how are you gonna do that? We don't know anything about racing. Oh, there's gotta be some way to get close to him. Perhaps I can be of help? Byron? How did you get in here? Do you really want to know? As a matter of fact, I... Good, because we have much more important matters to discuss. It seems I need you to do a little undercover work. Whoa, I don't know about doing the spy thing anymore. My life is nice and simple right now. Yeah, I with help her. me out. Well, have it your way. Of course, Liam could be in grave danger. Liam? How come? The Fakuto 500 is held five times a year at different cities all around Europe. As it so happens, every time a race has visited a host city, that city has suffered a jewel theft from its local museum. We suspect that the thief or thieves are somehow affiliated with the race. You don't think that Liam would? Oh, of course not. Liam is the son of the top secret minister of international security. In fact, he's volunteered to help us investigate. I had uh, promised him four undercover associates. We're in! What? Liam needs me! Uh, us. He needs us. Professionally speaking, of course. just to ogle that Liam boy. Like, we're also gonna interview him, right? Him? Huh! Why interview a boy when you can interview a man? This girl's is three-time Fakuto 500 runner-up, Billy Bob Nitro. Hey, darling, what you want from me? Oh, silver-tongued devil, you have such a way with words. First, we'll do an interview. I don't do no interviews. No, oh, but surely you will. For the president of the Billy Bob Nitro fan club. Oh, his animal magnetism just sends me into overdrive. Look! 
So, ladies, here's the deal. This is the last race of the Fakuto 500, the thief's last chance to make a move. Ah, here we go. Liam's car. It's beautiful. Wow. Oh, wow. So nice. Oh, I'm glad you all like it, because one of you will be driving a car much like... Say what? Didn't I mention? You're going undercover as a race team. Three of you will be the pit crew, and one of you will drive in the Fakuto 500. Say what? Well, hello there. I'm Liam. Don't worry, I have this effect on girls all the time. Liam, I would like you to meet Sasha, Chloe, Yasmin, and Jade. The brats, yes, of course. Uh, who've you heard of us? Uh, I mean, you, you've heard of us? I read your magazine all the time. Oh, hey. thank you. Um, that article you wrote on accessorizing crash helmets was smashing. <sighs> Uh-oh, ladies and gentlemen, the caution flag is out, and there's a meltdown on the track! Psst! Earth to Jade, keep your focus, girl. We're here to work, remember? What's all this, then? A load of teen magazine girlies. No interviews. Go on. Ladies, if I may, this is Poppy Crankwell, my mechanic. Mr. Crankwell, these are the undercover agents I was talking about. Them? Listen, you. Liam's a racer. His job's to win, not solve crimes. Ah! I don't like it one bit. Now, if you'll excuse us, girlies, we've got a racing car to lock up. Somebody's not happy to see us. Poppy's got, uh, anger issues. I'll soften him up. Off to the garage. Speaking of garages... Presenting the Supercharged Team Bratz Roadster! Whoa! To deduce which of you is best qualified to race, I ran your driving records and personalities through my organization's mainframe computer. And the winner is... Jade! Me? No way! I'm a terrible driver. I have eight speeding tickets just this year. Exactly! You're perfect! You'll begin your training immediately with Liam. Let's get started. You three are Jade's pit crew. You'll train with Poppy. Oh. I'm the celebrity announcer. <laughs> so, during the 500, you'll be on your own. Keep your eyes open. It's not clear when the culprit will strike or where he'll strike. I'm Billy Bob Nitro, and I'm a dangerous man. <laughs> oh, you can print that. <laughs> oh, Billy Bob. I'll print that, all right. On a locket, and I'll wear it next to my heart. So, tell me, Speedy, what is it that really revs your engine? Uh, jerky, mostly. Nachos. My house here. Best thing about trailer life, even when you're on the road, you're always at home. I got everything I need. Got my porta potty, got my propane stove. I got Ew, my final look. map of the European Billy Bob Highway. has a giant horse Dubra fork. That's hors d'oeuvre, you thimble brain. Yeah, and it's not a fork, it's a boomerang. See? <laughs> oh, you done busted my lucky helmet! Oh, and you scratched my lucky crowbar. I just polished it. <laughs> so you finally found the brick, did you? Quite all right. Try again. In reverse this time, if you please. And this time, easy on the accelerator. Of all the cockamamie schemes I've ever been a part of, this one takes a cake. Training fashion girlies to be a real-life pit crew. You think you have what it takes. Sir, yes, yes sir! <laughs> I'll be the judge of that.
So, you think you're hot shot mechanics now, do you? What's this? Sloppy work, girls. You didn't take off a jack handle when you were done. <laughs> <laughs> Lean up my carriage and get out of here! Why is he so cranky anyway? It's almost like he doesn't want us to solve the crime. I'm getting a very suspicious feeling about that dude. Pretty princess, how about you and I mosey on after him? See where he's going. Angel, you mind cleaning up? I'm on it. What the? Hey, you girls, get out of there. What do you think you're doing? Like, duh, we're washing your car. Verdine said we had to be nice for scratching your boomerang. Uh, it's not a boomerang gas can. Fender face! Oh, oh, get away from it! Stop, it. Stop fighting and close the windows! Lousy teenagers thinking they can do anything they want. Just like that Liam dude. Smirking and talking all English all the time. Winning all that prize money that ought to be mine. People will wake up. Oh, yes. Believe me, they'll remember Billy Bob in the end. So, here's what we have so far. Billy Bob's jealous of Liam for winning all the time. And he needs money. And Poppy doesn't want us around. We better keep tabs on both of them before one of them makes his move. What the? Liam's car! It's been stolen! Sorry I couldn't get here sooner. There was a burglary at the Museum of Precious Gemstones. Yeah, well, someone really conked Chloe on the head. <laughs> Next thing I knew, Liam's car was racing away, and... And here it comes back again? Missing something? But how'd you... I was driving back to our garage when Liam's car came swerving right at me about a block from the museum. Liam? Hey! Did you get a good look at him? Nah, he was wearing a visor. But check it. I found this next to the driver's seat. Hmm. All the tools you'd need to break into a museum. No doubt he was making his getaway when you found him. I also found this. Poppy's cap? <gasps> Poppy's the jewel thief? It does look suspicious, but a greasy cap isn't exactly solid evidence. Don't forget Billy Bob. He was acting mighty suspicious right before the break-in. Hey, wait a minute. If you drove this car back, where's our car? With Liam? Liam? I dropped him off a long time ago. I mean, really, Liam's fine, but racing is off the hook. I'll go back for our car in a minute. <laughs> Don't go alone, Cool Cat. We've got a couple of very dangerous suspects on the loose. Keep your eyes open during the race tomorrow, Jade. There's no telling what will happen next. <laughs> Race fans, and welcome to the 67th running of the Bakuto 500! Good luck, Cool Cat. We got your back. Thanks. Shut your yaps and eat my dust, you Sunday drivers. I got me a date with destiny. I suspect it's the first date you've had in quite a while. Oh, yeah, pretty boy. Well, in a minute, you'll be kissing the pavement. Why, well, hello, Poppy. Nice cap. Bite this morning? Eh? I got a dozen of them. The drivers are ready. Here's the flag. Oh! 
Don't worry, you get your tear too. Cool cat? All right. Done like a true pro, Jade. You must have had one magnificent and handsome teacher. Keep your mind on the right, Liam. Folks, in the lead, it's Liam, followed by Billy Bob Nitro, and in third place, the newcomer everybody's talking about, Jay! Woo yeah! Back off, Billy Bob. Ah, oh, go babysit someone, teenage girl. There ain't room out here for all of us. Actually, you're right. There isn't room for all of us. with no international treaties. The type of place that welcomes criminals. Criminals? Liam, say it ain't so. <laughs> oh, dry up, Poppy. <laughs> ah, there's the border now. Open up, fellows. I'm here as arranged with your dazzling bribe. Ah, oh, and what a surprise. Not a single one of you pitiful brats is here to stop me. <laughs> ha! Just look who's pitiful now. And don't try telling me those come standard with this model. Good work, girls. Europe owes you a tremendous debt of gratitude. No problem, Byron. All in a day's work. And to think you offered your own father help in the investigation. It was the perfect cover. Until the brats ruined it. 
We'll see how perfect you think it is when you see personally how ashamed he is. Whoever would have thought that under such a cute exterior there could lurk such a creep? Uh, speaking of creeps. <laughs> Heck of a race. Glad I won, but uh, sorry I passed judgment. <laughs> Thanks. Although, honestly, we did the same thing with you. Yeah, and hey, there's something I don't understand. Yesterday, we saw you storming off, saying how you were gonna set things right. Yeah, what was that all about? Ah, that? I was just fetching a padlock. Them pink ladies was driving me nuts. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.